Hi, I'm Chao Wei Huang from the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and from the Frederick Health Hospital. Today, we're going to be talking about engaging the lima from the right radial approach. The patient is a 60-year-old man who is being evaluated uh, for repair of a large AAA. He had a nuclear stress test, uh, which showed inferior ischemia. He has uncontrolled diabetes, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, and still smokes. His history is also notable for CAD and his status post cabbage. He has got a lima to the diac to the LED, a rima to the OM, as well as a left radial to the PDA. He has PAD, and in addition to his AAA, he is also status post bilateral BKA. On exam, neither of his femoral pulses were palpable, and both were only faintly dopplerable. Since we also wanted to avoid his uh, AAA, uh, a right radial approach was selected despite the presence of bilateral mammary grafts. Now, engaging the lima from the right radial artery is usually quite challenging. Um, the first step uh, is to engage the left subclavian. Uh, this is usually not a problem, and uh, standard catheters, uh, including the Tiger, the Jackie, the Judkins catheters, uh, can usually do the trick. Occasionally, even the IMA and IMC catheters uh, can do it. Uh, but more supportive catheters, uh, such as the AL catheters or the Simmons catheters, uh, could be helpful uh, for wiring the subclavian. Uh, just of note, the Simmons catheters are usually not available at many uh, community hospital cath labs. In our case, uh, we just use a standard Tiger uh, 4.0 catheter and readily engage uh, the left subclavian artery. Wiring the left subclavian artery uh, can be a little tricky, uh, primarily due to lack of adequate backup. Uh, if you have an AL or Simmons catheters in place, this is usually not a problem, and you usually have enough backup to get a woolly wire uh, through the subclavian into the left brachial artery. Uh, with the Tiger, uh, the Jutkins, the Jackie, or the IM catheters, uh, backup is generally insufficient, and you'll usually have to use an angled glide wire uh, to navigate uh, uh, through the subclavian into the brachial artery. In our case, uh, we use a glide wire, uh, and that passed fairly easily uh, via our uh, Tiger catheter um, and crossed the uh, subclavian into the brachial. Uh, next, you have to uh, get your IM catheter into the subclavian. Again, this can be tricky, especially if you just have a glide wire in place, because that wire isn't uh, particularly uh, supportive. Uh, one useful technique uh, is to inflate a blood pressure cuff uh, in the left arm uh, to pin the tip of the wire in place, so you have more of a rail uh, to advance your IM catheter. Uh, another option would be to use a long four French glide cath uh, to swap out your glide wire into a more supportive guide wire before uh, advancing your IM catheter. Uh, in our case, uh, we actually kept our glide wire in place, uh, inflated a blood pressure cuff in the left arm to pin the wire. Uh, this provided uh, enough of a rail uh, for us to advance our um, five French IMA catheter uh, into the subclavian. Once you have your IM catheter into the subclavian, uh, you then gently pull back the catheter as you normally would uh, to engage the lima. Now, I find that uh, because of the right radial origin, uh, the IM catheter will sometimes tend to want to rotate medially uh, upon a pullback uh, so that uh, you may have to apply gentle torque uh, to counteract this effect. Um, now, if uh, despite your best efforts, uh, you are still not able to selectively engage the lima, uh, inflating the blood pressure cuff uh, in the left arm uh, can improve opacification of the lima in a non-selective engagement. Uh, in our case, uh, we uh, engaged the lima uh, with an IMA catheter and found that uh, it was uh, widely patent. So take home messages. Um, engaging the lima uh, from the right radio approach is challenging and really should be avoided uh, unless there is uh, no other approach. Uh, but if it cannot be avoided, um, then the following suggestions uh, may be helpful. First, uh, you'll need to engage a subclavian. This is usually fairly uh, straightforward and can be done with standard catheters, although the use of more supportive catheters uh, will have advantages uh, for wiring. Next, uh, you wire the subclavian. If you have a less supportive catheter in place, uh, generally you'll need to use a glide wire. Once you get a, your wire across the subclavian into the arm, 
uh, pinning the tip of the wire by inflating a blood pressure cuff in the arm uh, will create a better rail uh, for advancing your IM catheter. Of course, you can always try to exchange the wire uh, to a more supportive wire uh, using a glide cath. Uh, third, uh, once the IM catheter is in the subclavian, uh, limi, lima angiography is done uh, per usual technique. Uh, but remember that gentle torque on the catheter may sometimes be necessary to counteract the tendency of the catheter to want to rotate medially on pullback. And finally, uh, if uh, selective lima engagement is not possible, uh, inflating a blood pressure cuff uh, in the left arm uh, can help with a pacification of a non-selective uh, engagement. Thank you for watching.